And welcome back. Um, before the break, we were just reminiscing and talking about our um, school days. Um, but now we'd like to move on to another topic. Um, recently, there was a there was a dog attack that happened in town. And actually, they're, they're not so uncommon. And I know in my neighborhood, there's a lot of uh, loose dogs running around. So, you know, what are your guys' opinions on this, you know, not leashed up dogs? I live on, I live on the 207. So... Before I had a car, I uh, used to drive my, drive, <laughs> ride my bike to town, like taking the back roads through, uh, what do you call that, that, that road anyways? Mary Deer's Road, my mom calls it. Oh, like Mer by McGregor's farm? Yeah, through that way. And there are so many dogs there, German Shepherds and, and Retrievers and Pit Bulls and any type of dog you want to think of, they'll chase you for, for as far as they can. And like, I've been attacked before. Um, it, it had gotten to the point where I started carrying like a little billy club with me on my bike or if I didn't have that I had a little pocket knife because these dogs were nipping at my ankles. Well that's like my mom, she she likes to go out for walks. Her and my dad would go for walks because I live like you know in the Clay Mountains area and they never left the house without a stick when they go for a walk. They had that dog stick that they took out with them everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of sad that people have to resort to doing that. Like it's it's like people won't feel safe walking around going to walk it and I don't know, it shouldn't be like that. But referring to, you know, the recent uh, dog attack, it was a pit bull. Uh, I don't know if people read it, it was in the Eastern Door two weeks ago, and it's just, that's really unfortunate. That, you know, something like this always happens, and then, you know, like, the media starts talking about it, like, and it kind of dies down, and nothing's done about it, and then something happens again. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, it's like a never-ending... It's yeah. a continuous process. And I think people just, um, well not just people, well, pet owners, dog owners need to just be responsible. Especially dog owners. pit bull owners need to be much more responsible because they know what they have. They know what kind of animal they, and they know why they get it in the yeah. first place. And that's, well that's something that like I don't, I guess I don't discriminate against breeds, whatever. I mean I had a, a, a Doberman and he was like, the goofiest thing ever and he was really loyal to my boyfriend but he didn't trust me and he bit me but I mean um like people will say like pit bull owners like well my dog's so friendly and well yeah he's friendly towards you but he's not necessarily friendly towards you know a stranger who especially if they're loyal and they like, might see them as like a threat or whatever yeah I, I have a I have a boxer and um Unfortunately, one day we had a family gathering, and he's the most hyperest, happiest little dog I have ever had. Well, he's not little as a boxer, but he's, he's always hyper and always happy, and he never causes a problem. And my aunt's boyfriend walked in, and he bent down to pet the dog, and then the dog bit him. And I was like, what are you doing? This dog doesn't bite anyone. He never attacks anything. He whimpers at his own food. But it's just because he's a boxer, and boxers are made to be loyal, and if they think that someone is attacking or being offensive or offending, that they're going to attack. It's just and I think, I think that goes for, like, any breed can be, any dog can be like that. I mean, you see, like, some people have, like, little chihuahuas, and they're, like, really aggressive, and, like, they'll, they'll be running, like, against their property, like, barking at you, like, the entire time you're walking by. And, like, I think that's something, an excuse that some owners will, like, I have this happy, like, golden retriever, like, I'll let him loose, he's not going to attack anyone, but it doesn't mean you should still have him loose, like, it's not just, you know, um, I guess aggressiveness, or, I don't know, it's not just, like, that's not the only reason why you shouldn't have your dogs loose, like, I think one of the things I'm concerned about my dog is that, um, I mean, they can be bumped, uh, stolen, uh, and then if they're roaming around, like, they can, like, contract, like, a disease, and then they spread it to other dogs easier. That's, like, it's not, yeah, no, that's that's a good point, because it's not just, like, that there's one concern about not having your dog tied up. It's not like, oh, well, they're going to, you know, go bug the neighbor's kids and, you know, hurt them. But there's also, if, if it's your dog, you want to take care of them. You don't want them to get sick, and you don't want them to get bumped, so. Yeah, like, <laughs> there's this dog that, um... I actually see near our Mohawk TV studios, like running um, up the highway during the night chasing cars. And it was happened twice now that 
my boyfriend and I were like in the car and it was like in front of us and I don't know I'm just like I don't know how an owner cannot be worried about their dog getting bumped and like that like I was worried about the dog <laughs> There's a lot of people that still think of uh, like the old old Gunawagi, how how dogs just always roam around and like that's how it's always going to be and and that we should just deal with it. But like sometimes, when there's attacks on children on on other t small dogs, like what happened, I mean those people have to be held responsible. And if the dog actually does like tear something apart, it should not be able to like still be able to run free. I mean, have your dog build a fence or something, or at least put it on a running line. It doesn't have to be tied to a post. Put it on a running line. But I just, I hate being attacked. <laughs> I've been attacked before and I hate it. And uh, I know exactly what uh, what that family went through because uh, it is scary when you don't know what to do when this big dog with fangs that big is coming at you. It sucks. So what do you think people can do to be more responsible besides tying up their dog? <laughs> if you're going to have a big dog, build a big fence. If you're going to have a little dog, I mean... I mean, yeah, there are like... When you get a dog, there are responsibility. Yeah. I mean, you're taking care of this, this life, this cute little thing, and then it grows to or not sometimes so a, a bigger cute thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, like, I don't know, like, they, they're expensive. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people in town go to, the, like, bring their animal to the vet, like I do, and I, my poor little dog, Crash, just got fixed. So <laughs> he's wearing the cone of shame. But that was, it was a really expensive, you know, vet appointment to do. Yeah. And then obviously, like, you know, building a fence, even wire, like, it's, it costs money. And then if you don't have the money to build a fence, bringing him out on a, you know, on a leash, to let him, you know, do his business, it, it, like you have to invest time. Well, it's another. I think that's yeah. It's it's um it's a big decision to make. It's kind of, it's you're bringing a life into your home that you have to take care of because they're not. It's almost it's almost like a child to an extent, right? Because they rely yeah. on you to be fed and to be taken out to the bathroom. And I definitely treat my dog like that. Yeah. And I know like sometimes people will they'll bring a dog home because you know they want their kids to have a pet but they, they still neglect to take care of it, and it's usually that dog that's running around, you know? Yeah. And yeah. you can you can just see, like, you can tell when a dog is unhealthy, and it's just, I think that if you're going to have a dog, really, you should take care of it, and, like, it's important. There there are leash laws, um, but unfortunately, I don't think they're allowed to be enforced, and you only get billed at the... At the uh, environment office right uh, the animal protection animal protection yeah. office yeah i'm not sure quite how it works like i know if they see obviously see a dog or if someone calls it like in and they see something roaming like they'll go to it and like they get the dog gets picked up in like you know dog jail mm -hmm. and like there's obviously a, i think a fee to you know h however long that dog is staying there and like to be able to like bail it out <laughs> but um yeah. I read the first time your dog gets caught, it's 50 bucks, but... Re-offending. Re-offending <laughs> offenses uh, could go all the way up to, like, a grand for each time. So, I mean... I think that's pretty good incentive to want to tie up your dog. But, I mean, it's still... I mean, if you call animal protection, I'm sure they they have dogs that are constantly seen in there. Mm -hmm. Like, so are these, like... Is it... Is that fine, like, working enough? Is, like, getting to the owner's head or, like, what? I don't know if there's really, like, a like a good concrete way, though, that you can you can get people to tie up their dogs. Like, I know, like, if they're, like, the leash like that, you know, if it's $50 for the first time. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, people break the law all the time, and they know that they're, they're, they're going to have to pay a fine or they're going to have to do probation. Like, you know, it doesn't always stop people from doing that, so I'm not really sure if there's a complete concrete way to make sure that people tie up their dogs. There's, there's always going to be people. Yeah. <laughs> you can't fix everything. No. But I think it's a different one. It's like, you, like, yeah, there's always going to be those people that just don't listen. But when so many people in the community do this, like, it's, it's not just people, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's a problem when there's, like, so many. Mm -hmm. It's a problem when children are being attacked. Yeah. 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 It's, like, a very unfortunate one something like this happens and
there could have been like a very easy um, way to like prevent it. Yeah, the whole situation could have been prevented. Yeah. So with that, we'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with more exposed. <laughs> 